Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can use a Python module to insert multiple images into multiple Excel cells. Before we get started with the Python code, let's go over one way you can do this with Excel. And after we show you the example of how to do it with Excel, you'll probably see the benefit of being able to use Python to do this just a little bit more quickly if you have a whole bunch of images. The first thing we want to do here is go ahead and resize our cells to make them just a little bit bigger so they'll fit the images. Let's try that. So we have two images on our desktop and we're going to put one here and one here. Now one thing you could do is probably just drag those on to your Excel worksheet. But in this case, we're going to go up to Insert, Picture, from file. Let's go ahead and choose shape one, insert, and let's reshape this a little bit. Put it right in the middle. Let's go ahead and insert our second image, insert, picture from file, shape two, insert. Let's resize that a little bit. Now, we should be able to select these images and then do a right click, go to Size and Properties, and then click this Properties drop down. And let's choose this option here Move and Size with Cells. Now, one thing to point out from time to time when you resize your cells, these images may not always resize as you might expect. Okay? Now, these images should be tied to these cells. So let's test that. Let's go ahead and insert a column. Okay, that looks good. Next, let's go ahead and put some numbers next to these to make sure that when we sort this data, these shapes we'll sort along with these numbers. So let's go ahead and select this. Let's go to sort, smallest to largest. And along with the numbers, these two shapes should swap places. Okay, so that looks good. As we mentioned, if you had to do this manually for say hundreds of images or even possibly thousands, this could take you some time. And our goal, by using Python is to set up our code so we can do this a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and close this. Okay, so the Python module we are going to use is called XLSX Writer. If you would like more information on this module, you can go to python.org and then go to the packages section. Go ahead and type that out and search. If we click here, you'll get a description of what this can do, a few examples, and then down at the bottom, if you want to see the documentation, you can click here. Let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook, and let's begin going over our code. So of course, as we mentioned, go ahead and import XLSX Writer. And if you have the Anaconda distribution, this should already be included. If you don't have the module, you can do a pip install. And if you want more details on that, those details should be on this page. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create an Excel workbook. To do that, we're going to use our module dot workbook and then put in the path of where you want this file to be, give it a name, and put in the Excel extension. Next, we're going to add a worksheet to the workbook. We've created a variable for that titled worksheet. Then we use our workbook dot add worksheet. If you would like to go ahead and resize your cells, one way you can do that is to use your worksheet dot set column for the columns. Go ahead and put in the range for the columns you would like to resize. 
and then put in the size. If you would like to resize your rows, one way you can do that is worksheet.set default row and put in your size. The images that we're going to insert into our Excel worksheet are on our desktop in a folder. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've titled this folder shapes. And here we have 10 shapes. Okay. So we've gone ahead and created a list for those images. And each element in the list is the path of where the image is and the name of the image and the file image type, which is a PNG. Next, to get started with the code needed to insert the images, we're going to go ahead and create two variables for the image row and the column for the placement of where we want to start within that worksheet. Next, we're going to use a for loop to loop over or through our images list. Then, within the for loop, we type out worksheet.insert image. We go ahead and use our image row and image column variables. And again, those are the cells in the worksheet of where we want to start the placement of our images. Then, for the third argument, we're going to go ahead and use the image itself. And then, down here, we have several different arguments that will allow us to control the scale of the image, the offset or the placement of the image, and then the positioning. And this positioning argument might be a little bit counterintuitive at the start, but we're going to use a 1 for the positioning, which will allow us to move and size the image with the cells. Okay. Now finally, to allow these images to be placed in one row right after another, we're going to go ahead and use our addition compound assignment operator. So with all of this code here, that will go ahead and place our images into the cells. Next, you might like to go ahead and put a title next to each image. So to do that, we're going to do basically the same thing we did here with the images, but with some text. So just like here, we created a list of our images. Here, we're going to go ahead and create a list of the titles. Just like here, we've gone ahead and created a row and column starting point. Then we're going to loop over or through our titles list, use worksheet.write, put in title, row, title, column. And for the third argument, we put in the actual title. And once again, to allow the titles to be placed one row right after another, we use plus equals one. Finally, we're going to go ahead and close our workbook. Now, when we run this, this should create an Excel workbook with a worksheet that has all of the images and their corresponding titles. A couple more things to point out. If the size of the cells are not what you want, one thing you can do is to work with this code right here, the set column and the set row, and then change those numbers until the cells are the proper size. Also, regarding the placement and size of the image, if you work with these arguments here and change those numbers a little bit, very often you'll be able to size your image and place your image just where you want it. Okay, so currently we have no Excel worksheet on our desktop. Let's run it. Let's go back to our desktop. And here we have our Excel worksheet. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see we have inserted all of our shapes. And we have inserted titles that correspond to each shape. So let's go ahead and test this a little bit. To make sure that the images don't move, let's go ahead and insert a column. And let's go ahead and insert a row. So that looks pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and attempt to sort this. So let's go ahead and select all of the data and the shapes. And what we want to do is attempt to sort this in descending order. 
largest to smallest by this column here. Okay, so that appears to work just fine. We should be good to go. That's all we have for this Python tutorial. We will be doing many more tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.